Hi YouTube fam, what is up? I am Meredith and welcome back to my channel. I have quite a mixed bag today. I have a couple things that I wanted to show you from Easy Luxury. We've got an LV luxury dupe bag. We've got some Alexander McQueen luxury dupe sneakers. We've got some amazing earrings from Anthropology that I cannot wait to talk to you guys about. A Nike bag. We've got some stuff from Gap right here, part of their Brooklyn Circus collaboration. And then we've got a sweater from Zara. We've got a pair of shoes from Zara. And we also have a sweater from Mango. Oh, and these are the shoes from Zara. And of course, I failed to mention what I currently have on my body, these amazing silk-like pajamas from H&M. For those of you returning, thank you so much for coming on back to my channel. And for those of you who are new here, I am Meredith. I am a mid-size and curvy content creator. I'm a size 8 or 10, and I create content for women to help inspire and encourage them and to empower them to love their bodies. Dressing my body has been a challenge pretty much my entire life until I got really good at it in my adult years. Having a very small waist and a big old butt can be very challenging, believe it or not. And also, I realized that there was a huge void in our industry, in mainstream media, that there is nobody out there that looks like me, that I see creating content, being an influencer, even being a model. I do not see a size eight or 10 anywhere. I realized that this was a huge void. And so I decided to essentially bridge the gap between straight sizes and plus sizes because I feel like I'm not small enough to be like considered skinny or straight size. And I'm not big enough to be considered plus size. And I really don't feel like I have a community that I belong to. And we all know it's a natural feeling to want to feel like we belong somewhere. So I decided to create my own community. So if you are a woman out there, if you look like me, if you are shaped like me, if you are inspired by me, that is why I make the content that I do. I hope that it encourages you guys to love your bodies, love your curves, and I hope that I can help you guys dress them at the same time. And real quick, before we get started today, I am 5'7 for reference. I have a 36 inch bust. I've got a 29 inch waist. I've got a 44 inch hip. I wear a medium on the top. I wear a medium on the bottom. My pant size is an eight or a 10. And let's hop right into today's video. All right, guys, so this first portion of today's video is sponsored by Easy Luxury. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing with you guys. I'm so excited to be working with them. Again, they sent me some Alexander McQueen luxury dupe sneakers that I have been wanting for quite some time. I think this type of sneaker is one that is a classic. I feel like these can be worn with just about anything. I think we all need a white sneaker in our life and I think that these are absolutely perfect. So they do have a little bit of a raised sole. These are considered like an oversized sneaker but I don't think that they're gonna look super big on my feet. And one of the reasons why I chose these sneakers is because of this amazing gold detail in the back. I feel like this pair of sneakers can be worn with literally everything. I'm really excited to have these in my repertoire. Let's move on to the Louis Vuitton luxury dupe handbag. Okay. All right, so I decided as I was getting dressed a couple weeks ago, I was searching my purses. I don't know if you guys can see up there or not, but I have a line of purses in there. I've got a line of purses in my closet and I was putting together an outfit and I just realized that I didn't have a black bag, a plain black bag that was small enough that I didn't have to throw over my shoulder. I didn't have a black handbag. So I decided to get the black mini capucina. I think that's how you pronounce it. In American, you would think it's capucine. That's how it's spelled. But I think the French way to pronounce it is capu capucine, capucine, something like that. So this is exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a plain, very classic style black bag that has a lot of structure. It can be held in one hand. And then it also actually comes with a shoulder strap if you wanted to throw it over your shoulder and I'll show you what that looks like in one second. All right, let's see what it looks like over the shoulder. Like so, I also feel like this could be long enough for a crossbody. Also another great way to wear it. I am so excited to have this. I love the gold hardware. It also has this black sort of leather part over the hardware as well. It does have this flap that goes over 
but into the bag so it doesn't go over the whole thing like that it actually just goes right into the center here it's big enough for a mini wallet it's big enough for your phone this is the perfect size mini handbag i'm so excited to have it so thank you to the good people at easy luxury for sending these my way i also wanted to let you know that they are giving all of my followers five percent off on orders on 200 dollars or more with the code morgan Next up, because I cannot go any further in this video without having an earring in. So I wanted to just quickly show you these anthropology earrings. These are a luxury dupe as well. I don't actually remember which earrings they look like. Um, whose are they? I don't know. I'm probably going to remember after I film the video, I will throw up a picture right here on the screen to show you which designer earrings these look identical to, but I'm just gonna throw them in my ear and show you guys what they look like. I feel like these are really elegant. They're different than a normal hoop that I would normally wear, which for me is good because I just always reach for hoops. So having a little bit of a different earring in my repertoire is going to be great. These are just amazing. They are decently lightweight. They're not super heavy, but they're substantial and they feel like metal and they were $38. I'm really happy with the way that they look on me. And let's move on to the next item. Oh, the next item is actually on me. Let's talk about this PJ set that is so luxurious looking in the most amazing color. So first of all, let me start out by telling you guys that I ordered a small at first because that's all I had on the website at the time that I placed the order. And I was like, I have to have them. H&M usually runs really big. So let's just see if they work. Well, let me show you what happens when I get something that just doesn't work. Here we are. Okay. So I ended up ordering a large because this type of material, when you're in a pajama, you don't want it to be tight whatsoever, like at all, at all. So I ended up getting a large in the top and a large in the bottom. Luckily there is a drawstring around the waist so I could cinch that part in, but they fit throughout the rest of my body really well. I'm really glad that I went with the large. The large top is a little bit long on my arms, but to me having like this sort of PJ set is really comfortable. It it just makes me want to like curl up and like cuddle and if it was any smaller I think that it would probably be a little bit annoying so the long sleeves don't really bother me there is no stretch okay guys so just keep that in mind so if you are between sizes I would definitely size up and I would even maybe size up one more to have it really be an oversized really cozy comfortable look Oh, and if anybody is curious to know about my slippers that I have on with this PJ set, these are from Target. They look just like the Uggs, super comfortable, super affordable, very fuzzy and warm. I love them. I wear them all the time around the house. The next item I wanted to show you guys were these amazing shoes from Zara, okay? I have been on the hunt to try to find some shoes that are going to look great with any wide leg pant because I'm in this sort of wide leg pant phase. And I just think a really pointy chic heel is going to be paired perfectly with this. So I wanted to point out that the heel is really low. I'm getting old y'all. And high heels that are like higher than three inches are like not really my thing anymore. So yeah, these might be a little low, but you know what? You're not really gonna be able to see the heel. I'll have a little bit of height, but the most important part of this is the front part. So let me go ahead and throw these on and show you guys what they look like with some wide leg pants. Okay, so I'm not much of a flat ballet slipper type of person. So if these were flats, they would be a no for me, but because they have a little bit of a heel, they don't look super sexy on just like this, but wait until you see what they look like with some wide leg jeans. You can't even tell that the heel is like an inch, right? So this is exactly what I was looking for. I love the look of a pointed shoe with a wide leg pant. I'm really, really, really happy with these. The one thing that I wanted to point out were that these were really expensive for Zara, right? This is just a little bit of a kitten heel, happens to be gold. They came in a box. Okay, I've never seen this before. They even came with a dust bag. So like maybe this brand Massimo Dutti is, I don't know, a collaborator with Zara now or something like that. These were $169. I'm not sure they're worth $169. 
Do we think that they're worth $169? Do you think that I should keep these for $169? I'm not sure. And I will say the one thing that worries me is maybe I can zoom in and see the top of the shoe right here. The gold foil essentially is already starting to look a little, not weathered, but crinkled. Like it looks like they need to be steamed. I don't know if I want this shoe to do that for $169. See what I'm saying? I would love your opinion in the comment section below. Let me know if you think that I should keep or return them. Do you think that they are worth $169? I mean, they are so, so good looking with these pants. Oh, I don't know what to do. Moving on to the top. Well, let me first take a 30 second time out. I also ordered a cardigan that is very similar in shape to this from Revolve that I tried on with my Instagram fam a couple days ago. She was expensive and I completely forgot that I had every intention of showing you guys and trying it on for you here. I did have it on in my Amazon haul, which you probably have already seen, but I wanted to try it on and show you how I styled it in this video, but I already sent it back. It was $275 and I really loved it. Like loved it, loved it. I had seen it for many months on my Instagram and I kept going back to the website and it kept being the same price. There was no sale on it. Revolve doesn't often do many sales, but when I got it and I looked at the coloring of the sweater on the website versus what I had gotten, I was like, I don't totally love it on me. I made the decision to send it back. I completely forgot to show you guys, but here's a quick video of me trying it on. The sweater is from Revolve. I have been seeing it pop up on my Instagram for probably months at this point. I really loved the way that the girl styled it and I'm sort of styling it the same way today without anything on underneath. I'm gonna just wear it during the haul today. I'm gonna watch the video back and see if I absolutely love it because if I don't absolutely love it, it's gonna go back. Just stand up so you guys can see how long it is. I just, I love it so much, but I just don't know if it's worth the money. So anyways, I sent it back uh, because I usually don't spend $275 on a cardigan. I thought I was gonna love it. I didn't totally love it. I loved it, but I didn't. Let's move on to this one. This one is from Mango and I am in a size small and I got worried that it was gonna be too small. And so I ended up ordering a size medium. Turns out, the small fits me exactly how I want it to. If you want it to be oversized, oversized, definitely order your size. But if you want it to be a little bit more, I wouldn't even consider this fitted because it's not, but it's just a little bit more tailored to my body versus my normal size, which is a medium, which would be too large the way that I want to style it. If I had envisioned wearing a top on underneath this, maybe I would want more of a billowy look and a billowy feel. So I would probably stick with my regular true size medium, but the small fits me absolutely perfectly. This is very similar to the one at Revolve. It is very soft. It's very, not as fuzzy as that one, but the material is just really soft and cozy. And I just, I'm sort of getting into cardigans maybe a little bit too late for the season because it's about to be spring but I feel like these can be worn with some jeans with some leggings styled you know over a white tee or a white tank top and it's really great for transition I'm really excited about this one it was actually really affordable I think I got it on sale for $39 pretty sure. Hopefully it's still available when this video comes out. I will leave the link below. You guys are also going to love it. I love the green. I love the zebra. It's fun. It's perfect. Maybe the sweater of the season, you guys. I am so happy with this sweater. The sweater is from Zara. I'm in a size medium. I unfortunately think that she might be sold out online, but check your local stores because she is so worth it. I love it. I wasn't sure I was going to because I can't wear a bra with it. I usually like to always, always, always have some sort of support because the older I get, the more gravity takes control and I can't do anything about it. But I think that I'm okay with the way that it looks because it's not looking so bad, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's not so tight and it's a sweater, so it's a little bit looser on my chest. The point is I'm okay with not being in a bra. I mean, the main event of this sweater is definitely the back. 
it has a tie so you can make it as loose or as tight as you want it and i suppose you could probably throw on a little bralette under this if you didn't want to be completely backless like that but i'm really happy with it i love pairing it with a high-waisted pair of jeans i love the little red stripe detail i love that it's a white and navy striped with just the little red details on the edges it's so cute and i have to tell you guys that these shoes just elevate exactly what i have on right now that's why i think that i love these shoes because it just takes your outfit to another level okay let's move on to the next item the next three items that i'm going to be showing you guys are from gap and they are from the brooklyn circus and gap collaboration if you guys remember twitch may he rest in peace this was the campaign that he was in and I just really wanted to support this collaboration and the event that like his wife Allison gets the funds from this and so I really just wanted to support it for that specific reason but also I really like Brooklyn Circus and really liked the campaign. So with that being said, I wanted to start out by showing you this t-shirt. <laughs> I really don't know what I was thinking. This is kids. And I was like, you know what? If I just get the double XL in kids, it's gonna fit me exactly how I wanted to. It's gonna fit me like a large or an extra large in regular. I don't know what I was thinking, but I can almost guarantee you that this is not going to fit the way that I want. Let's just try it on for shits and giggles. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's already really tight in my arms. I mean, it would really only be cute if I decided to like crop it. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. But essentially this is the kids extra, extra large t-shirt on me. <laughs> okay, do we think that I should crop it and keep it or do we think that I should just return? <laughs> The next item from the Gap and Brooklyn Circus collaboration that I decided to pick up was this little canvas tote bag. I have been on the hunt for one that is sort of white or beige because I don't wear a lot of black and I thought that this would pretty much go with everything and it does. I've already worn it a ton of times. It has a short handle. I do wish that these handles were a little bit bigger so I could throw it over my shoulder but my arms are not quite meant to go through those um, straps but it does have this crossbody bag you could throw it over this way or you could also just throw it over your shoulder like so i really sort of am rethinking why i got this because the whole point of having a canvas tote bag was so i could just quickly throw it over my shoulder like this unfortunately it doesn't work so i've been carrying it a lot in my hand and this long strap is just a little bit too long for my liking. I wanted it to be a little bit higher, a little bit just more manageable, I guess, because sometimes when you're walking like this, it just, you've got stuff in there, it just gets in the way. But I mean, I like it. I like the logo and the design here. Definitely gonna keep this one. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. Let me preface this by saying, your girl just likes to try things that, may not work and that's what i'm here for i decided to order a pair of shorts off of the men's section because i have been looking for a long knee length cargo short just like this in camo and i don't know i saw it and i was like just try it just just try it and um we're gonna just try it today and see if it works well maybe this was not the greatest idea after all <laughs> I mean, I ended up sizing up to a 30 waist because men's clothing don't take into consideration this. So I was like, even if I went with a 29, I know that they're gonna be super tight on me, around my thigh and around my butt. So I was like, let me just size up to a 30. Maybe the waist gap won't be super crazy. And maybe I could just make these work, but it's a no for me because <laughs> I mean, what was I thinking? Like that they were gonna actually fit me the way that I wanted them to? No, but I also wasn't sure if they had those little waist cinchers on the inside of the pants. Sometimes they do have those in real camouflage cargo pants, like the ones from the army, the actual army ones have them. And so I don't know, I thought maybe Gap would have them too. I don't know. Not the smartest idea in decision making, but you know, if I don't try it, I'll never know. Anyways, if you could just imagine, 
me in, I don't know, some sort of really cute cropped top, not this one, and some really cute fly higher heels than these. If you look at me from straight on, you can probably pick up the vibe that I'm going for. Don't look at me like this, because this looks crazy. Like, it looks crazy. So just look at me from straight on. You can probably understand or at least begin to understand the concept that I'm going for with this outfit. I really love the idea of like a longer short. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be so bad if I just had my tailor take this in, but I'm gonna still be on the hunt for some women's cargo shorts that are long like this that maybe take into consideration the curves because I don't know if these are like hiking them up. I just don't know if they're high-waisted enough for me but yeah maybe one day when i actually find a pair that work i will style an outfit for you guys show you the vibe that i'm going for i think i'm on the right track i just need to find the appropriate accoutrements are we getting a little bit of a better idea on how i sort of envisioned these shorts happening yeah i think i think this is more the vibe okay Last but not least, this is the last item I wanted to show you guys. I got this when I was in Florida at the Nike outlet. The Nike outlet is the place that I go to every time I'm in Florida because I always find such amazing deals. I find amazing sneakers. I will throw up the picture of the three pairs that I bought while I was there. I also found this bag that I have been eyeing in Dick's Sporting Goods for so long. I actually really wanted the gray one, but the only color that they had was black. This was $39 on sale at the outlet, originally 75. I would never pay $75 for this bag, but 39, I think I can do. It's super fuzzy. It's just amazing. I feel like I can bring this to the gym as my gym bag. It also does have a shoulder strap as well that you can put over your shoulder or you can lengthen it and wear it as a crossbody bag. All right, so that wraps up today's haul and try on with lots of different brands. Thank you to Easy Luxury. We had some Gap, we had some Mango, we had some Zara, we had some Nike, we had some H&M. Such a good roundup of amazing things. If you guys have any questions at all, please do drop them in the comment section below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell to get notification for every time I upload a new video. And I think I'm going to try to figure out the subscription sort of thing. There's been a lot of things that have been rolling out on YouTube and and I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into it for you guys. If you guys are interested in that, please do drop a thumbs up or some sort of notification in the comment section so I know that you guys are interested in that. I think it's where I create like exclusive content for those who sign up, but maybe I'll look into it a little bit more. All right, y'all, so I will see you on the next one. Bye.